Think growing taller is a childhood-only superpower? With limb lengthening, growing taller as an adult is made possible, but it starts with breaking your bones. At its core, limb lengthening is a medical procedure designed to increase bone length. Originally developed to help people with medical conditions like dwarfism or leg length discrepancy, it's now also being used to fulfill one of humanity's oldest wishes, getting taller. How does it work? The break. It all starts in the operating room. The process starts with a procedure called osteotomy. That's a fancy way of saying that the surgeon breaks the bone. This must be done while leaving surrounding tissues like muscles, nerves, and blood vessels intact to ensure proper healing later. The tech. Once the bone is cut, an internal rod used with or without an external frame is attached to stabilize the bone and slowly stretch apart the two ends. These lengthening devices are the unsung heroes of this procedure. We'll dive into them in detail in the next video. The lengthening phase. A few days after surgery, the real magic begins. The device starts stretching the bone, but don't imagine anything dramatic. This is a very slow process at only about 0.5 to 1 millimeter a day, depending on the doctor's prescription. As the gap between the bone ends widen, the body kicks into repair mode. Here's the science. First, the body creates a soft callus to fill the gap. This gel-like rubbery material is made of collagen and cartilage. It's essentially the body's blueprint for the new bone. Then, specialized cells called osteoblasts swoop in to convert the soft callus into hard bone. These cells deposit critical minerals like calcium and phosphate, solidifying the bone tissue. Meanwhile, osteoclasts break down any unnecessary material, ensuring everything is smooth and structured. But it's not just about the bones. Soft tissues like muscles, nerves, and blood vessels adapt to the new length as well. This can cause stiffness and tension, making physical therapy a must to maintain flexibility and avoid long-term issues. The consolidation phase. Once the desired length is reached, the consolidation phase begins. This is when the regenerated bone gradually hardens and strengthens. The end result? A longer, perfectly solid bone that's just as strong as the original. When considering limb lengthening or deformity correction surgery, research is everything. It's not just about finding a surgeon with a lot of experience, it's about finding one who is both skilled and prepared for any complications that might arise. An experienced and capable surgeon knows how to handle the complexities of the human body and adjust when things don't go as planned. Equally important are the hospital facilities, especially rehabilitation and physical therapy centers. These play a huge role in recovery and overall success of the surgery. Our goal is to give you the knowledge you need to make informed decisions, whether it's understanding the procedure, recognizing a good surgeon, or knowing what kind of support you'll need afterward. Remember, this isn't just a surgery, it's a journey towards a better, more confident you. So, what questions do you have about limb lengthening or deformity correction? Drop them in the comments and don't forget to follow for more insights into these transformative procedures.